It was next to a twisty old tree. A wind whistled, and Thomas heard a strange cry. Suddenly, Thomas felt something touch his tender. Look out, cried Diesel. The ghost engine is after your funnel. Cinders and ashes, gasped Thomas. And he let out a frightened peep. Scare the engine, scare the engine, Diesel teased. Thomas was very cross with Diesel. He wanted to pay him back for all his teasing. Thomas and Diesel arrived at the flower mill. Thomas rolled up to collect the flower. Then Thomas had an idea. We'll see who's a scaredy engine, he puffed. Thomas biffed the trucks out of the way and rolled under the chute himself. When Thomas puffed out the other side, he was covered from dome to buffer in pure white flour. Ooh, he said spookily. It's the ghost engine, cried Diesel. It's come to get me. Stop, cried Thomas. It's just me. But Diesel was nowhere to be seen. After Diesel was gone, the mill seemed very quiet. But there was still work to do. The island needs its bread, thought Thomas, and the fat controller needs his crumpets. Thomas shunted all the trucks into one long line and he set off for the bakery all alone. As Thomas arrived at the twisty tree, he wished he could go faster. But it was a very long train and he had to go slowly. Because he was going so slowly, Thomas could see that the tree wasn't spooky at all. It was just a tree, he gasped, and the strange cry was an owl. Thomas was relieved. Thomas chugged towards the abandoned mine. He could still hear the spooky banging. He looked to his left and then to his right, and he saw what was making the noise. It's just an old door, he gasped. The wind is making it crash. Finally, Thomas reached the old woods. The breeze still blew and the branches creaked. Thomas took a big, brave puff. But without Diesel's teasing, Thomas could see the haunted forest was actually Henry's favorite forest. It's not scary at all, said Thomas. Thomas arrived at the bakery. He was tired but happy. It's the ghost engine, sir, Diesel told the fat controller, and it's come to get me. It's not a ghost engine, boomed the fat controller. That's Thomas. He's a really useful engine. Thomas, you have done a splendid job, the fat controller said. You deserve a special washdown. Thank you, sir, puffed Thomas proudly. And while the fat controller waited for the first batch of crumpets, Thomas looked forward to telling his friends his diesel Halloween story. <laughs> <laughs>